After four years of war between Houthi rebels and a coalition led by Saudi Arabia and the UAE, a majority of Yemen's population are now facing starvation and disease. As many as 20 million people face famine, and thousands have been killed, many by indiscriminate coalition airstrikes. This has long been considered the world's worst humanitarian crisis. <laughs> And can you describe the situation that you fled from? And this, this tank is empty as well? This is no water in here as well? No, no proper toilets, just, just this four-walled structure and, oh, not even, not even a hole in the ground. So just, just for privacy, but not actually to, to get rid of the sewage. In the north of the country, there's a, a major problem with cholera. Has cholera come to this camp as well? وصلت لعندنا وسعتناها مباشرة للوحدة الصحية اللي هي موجودة معنا ورغم إن ال يعني الوحدة الصحية حقنا غير متكاملة. There are already over 1.2 million suspected cases of cholera in Yemen, and that number is rising as more people are forced to flee to camps like this. So, are the government or the UAE or the Saudis providing anything for this camp? So I've been to lots of IDP camps and this is, I think, easily the worst one I've seen. There's almost nothing provided here in terms of, you know, a proper toilet, a proper tent, and people are just making do with whatever they can. I mean, this is just sticks shoved into the ground and then bits of clothing, cardboard, old bags and sacks. Yeah, I think there's shrapnel in there. How, how close were the Houthi fighters to you when, when the missile struck? The airstrikes began four years ago after the Houthis, routinely described as Iranian backed, took all of Yemen's major cities. A coalition led by Saudi Arabia and the UAE with US supplied planes and weapons are attempting to defeat the Houthis. All too many coalition airstrikes hit civilians, and vital aid is not reaching those who need it most. The coalition have been taking land along the Red Sea coast and have reached the outskirts of Hodeida, the country's biggest port. Fighting around Hodeida is jeopardizing the nearly 70% of Yemen's goods, including food and medicine, that travel through it. The drive to Hodeida reveals what an unlikely coalition this is. All of the groups fighting here are de facto US allies in the battle to push back against Iranian influence. Their progress has been slow, chaotic, and heavily dependent on Saudi and Emirati air support. 
So this is the national flag of Yemen, which means this is a base for fighters loyal to Tariq Saleh, the nephew of the former president, who until just a year ago were fighting for the Houthis against these guys. So these tents by the side of the road have each got about 12, 15 Sudanese soldiers inside, actual government troops from Sudan who have been sent to join the coalition and their job is to secure the, the road from Mokka to Hadeden. We just passed about four dozen or so at least pickups and MRAPs and MATVs. They're American-made, almost bomb-proof trucks and all of them were disabled and it takes a lot to disable them. So the entire Mokka Hadeda road is supposed to be under coalition control, but the Houthis are still able to approach from the east and attack along this part of the road, so everyone has to exit the road and drive along the beach before finally getting to Hadeda. We join three of the main groups fighting with the coalition. Although they're united for now, they have vastly different goals leading many to predict that even if the war against the Houthis is successful, the chances for further conflict are high. These fighters are only interested in liberating the Red Sea coast. I think just over this berm is the airport. So they're saying that from here, the big danger is Houthi snipers, mortars, and they've even got drones that can fly overhead and drop explosives on them and then fly back. So it's taken longer than expected to take the airport on Hodeida. Why is it difficult to take this? And how long do you think it'll take before you control Hadeda city? So we're approaching their final position before the no man's land between them and Houthi's area. And you can see what kind of fight has taken place. I mean, there's two trucks here just blown to bits. Uh, the airport is about 150, 200 meters in front of me. And over three months ago, the UAE said it was under their control, but clearly it's nowhere near under their control. And that's before they even get to the, to the outskirts of the city. The city is, you can just see the buildings about four kilometers away. And according to the coalition's predictions, this was supposed to be over a long time ago. Yeah. So now they're saying we've got to pull back. Oh, it's about midnight, and right on the outskirts of Tahita. Um, they're saying that 100 meters from here is a tarmac road, and just beyond that, there are few positions. They lost two guys yesterday um, to Houthi snipers, and they said that two days before that, they killed two Houthis.
This little building we're hiding behind has actually got a logo painted. I think it's God is Great, Death to America, Death to Israel, First the Jews, Victory for Islam, I think. Like all sides in this conflict, the Giants Brigade used child soldiers. One of the many young fighters we met took us to a key position in the battle for Hadeda. I'm trying to follow him almost exactly, just because they say there are still loads of landmines here, and obviously this was controlled by the Houthis until just a day or two ago, so. No one's been here to do mine yet. This is the one that you said that this one is under the 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 This one is under and how long have you been a fighter? In 2011. So how old are you now? I'm 18. So you started fighting when you were 11 years old? Yeah, with the And do you think that when you've taken Hadeda and the road that you will get a chance to stop fighting? No. I'm not going to go to the house, but I'm not going to go to the whole country. Inshallah, in the end, we'll be able to get rid of the Shia. We'll be able to get rid of them from the last of Iran that's in the Yemen. يعني حوالي خمسين ستين مع مترات يعني سلولات من أمس العصر كل الليل أمس طلع علينا إربيجيات فوقنا كل الليل أمس. so so you've seen them and heard them moving around are they planning an attack tonight you think؟ ومخدين الآن وزوام الفاتحين كل الليل يقدر بس. هذا خطير. هذا هون يعني ضرب. بيعشرة يعني مباشر هذا. but in the short time I've been speaking to you. Two mortars have landed inside these walls. Is that is that normal? Is this every day and every night? هذا طبيعي عندنا حتى أربعة وعشرين ساعة. There have been lots of efforts, uh, uh, you know, peace talks and some kind of deal. Do you think there's any chance they could succeed, or do you think this is a fight until one side is is completely defeated? لا والله الحل هو الوحيد إذا هجمنا شلنا اليمن كان من الحوثي. What do you think it will mean if you if you take the road soon? What will it mean for the Houthis? I don't know. I don't think. 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 I don't Oh, 
So this is one of our cars. As you can hear, it's been firing all night long. This base is surrounded by a, a 10-foot high wall. The air above that 10-foot high wall has been full of bullets and mortars. But a bullet's clearly gone up and down and hit the window. Jesus Christ. We spent a few days on the front lines with, with your, your fighters and we saw a lot of them who were 13, 14, 15 years old. How do you justify the use of, of children as, as fighters? نحرص ان احنا ان شاء الله احنا النصر حليفنا غير احنا على حق so some, some people would say there's something even more important than your hatred for each other and that's the civilians in Yemen 10,000 at least have been killed so far millions are on the, on the brink of starvation should the war not be brought to an end to, for their benefit طبعا احنا نفكر ومتالمين لهذه الوضعيه اللي تسري فيها اليمن لكن الضرر في وجودهم هذا لا أكبر من من الموجود يعني. As the Houthis retreated up the Red Sea coast, they laid thousands of landmines, which now pose a huge threat to civilians and have to be slowly dug up by demining teams. This, this was a pressure plate landmine, so as soon as the weight comes on top, it sets it off. <laughs> on average, how many are you finding every day? يعني لا زال النوم كتب الألغام لا زال بيخطون والحديد لحد الآن. and these will stay active for months after the battle is over. thirty years. and I know it's just a guess, but do you have any idea how many of these you think have been laid here? ما ما قدر إن حد يدرّكم بس قلوا الآن موجود معنا كمية كبيرة خرجناها قبل قبل النار. أعتقد إنه النص النص اللي خرجناه ونص عادة متبقي يعني. How many is half? How many have you got so far? So I think, I think your colleagues found another one. So this perfect line in the dirt is where they walked to find the first landmine. And someone behind them has just found another one a foot, two feet away from the exact route they walked out on. Um, and even though they had two guys with metal detectors, they somehow missed this one and could have easily stepped on it. And look, he's just walking back on another path. So this village here 
was apparently empty during the war, but the villagers have started coming back and telling them where they think landmines are, but these three kids are just walking anywhere across what they say is still a minefield. Have any members of your family or anybody you know been hurt or killed by a landmine so far? For the kids, what, what do you do to avoid landmines? The dismantled mines are stored behind a military base. The Saudi and Emirati coalition claim they have so far dismantled 40,000. How long do you think it'll take you to clear all of the mines that have been laid here? Just a few weeks after we met him, Marwan Dagesh was killed when he drove over a landmine. The fighting forces here clearly want a fight to the death that could last years. And while their wealthy foreign backers are willing to fund them in this, the people trying to save Yemen civilians are left to work with almost nothing in impossible conditions. This is a hospital for our children. The UN have just estimated that the child is dying every 10 minutes as a result of the UN. Two months ago, this town was being fought in by two different forces. You can't imagine getting away from like this while two armed groups are fighting in the streets right outside. So. How many children in this in this town are, are malnourished as a result of the war? Are there children here who, who you can't get to or who can't get here? Yes. في حالات معانا كثيرة لأن المديرية زي ما أشرنا من قبل على إن إحنا so there are people that are willing to help you there are some supplies somewhere but they just can't physically get to this town because the journey is is too dangerous بالإضافة لإنه الطريق من خارج المديرية كله ألغام في قناصين إن جيوت من اللغة ما تنجش من القناص وقد حصل لنا أكثر مرة قد حصل لنا في المركز هذا نفسه مع المتواجدين حصل لنا there are now an estimated 1.8 million severely malnourished children in Yemen, and 85,000 children under the age of five are already thought to have died of starvation. Right now, you don't have the specialists and, and the medicines you need to, to treat a child like this. We're 
بس للاسف الشديد امراض التدهور العقال And, and describe the situation every day, not just for children who are malnourished, but for their families and, and, and for you uh, and your colleagues as well. Yes, محطم مادي ماديا نفسيا معنويا شكل كامل. You you said you're 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 just living here and you're doing extraordinary things to to to, to keep people alive under almost impossible circumstances. But how close are you to, to a real catastrophe where there is, is nothing anyone can do to help not just these children, but, but people like you and the families living here as well? So there have been attempts to reach some kind of a peace agreement, um, but they fail. It looks like both sides want to keep on fighting until one side is defeated. Can you just describe what that looks like for, for civilians who are caught in the middle in, in towns like this? كفين مدحين بس تي تي ابني